This is Gap Minute, the Great American Broadcasting Network. Now in its eighth year of talk, like you've never heard it before. Stephen Kravitz. He's in Massachusetts. Yes. In Worcester. Where it's unbearably hot. Really? It's been warm. Oh, yeah. It's been warm here, too, but today it's kind of nice, although I have the air conditioner on. Tomorrow's supposed to be 98. 98? I think it. How? I think it's supposed to be 100 down here or something like that. I don't know. You know. But I'm in. Are you enjoying the heat? Oh, you don't have no. air, you don't have air conditioning. Right, right. Uh, I got a fan going right over here. Really? Why? Why don't you get? Well, I'm. You know, they they're not they're not that expensive. You know, if you got an air no. conditioner. No. You know. I guess you could get one for one hundred and twenty-five dollars, something like that. I'd say more like two hundred. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you want something with a lot of BT, fairly decent amount of BTU. What's uh, BTU? That's British Thermal Units. Meaning what? Meaning the kind of u- units <laughs> thermally that the British enjoy. Oh, okay. Yeah, but no, it's, it's called that. Sounds for it, it, BTU is a. Uh, the more BTU you get, like I got a, a what a twelve a twelve a thousand BTU in my uh, in my bedroom. All right. Okay. And what we do is we turn it on high and we blast it and it goes out the door and then it cools the whole hallway and some of the other rooms a little bit. Oh really? Yeah. This now do you have one in in, in your office? Yeah, that one is six hundred six thousand BTU. And the one I have in the guest room is 500 BTU because we don't care about our guests that much. <laughs> 5, 000, well, isn't that nice? Me, 5,000 BTU. Okay. Isn't it wonderful? Have you learned something here about air conditioning? Yes, I have. I'm going to open up a shop now. It would just make your life a little more pleasant, you know, yeah. especially when the heat is like this because indoors you get all that humidity. It stays in there. Right, it's a heavy heat. Well, I'm having a fight with my wife. Well, what else is new? Uh, I'm having a fight with my wife over whether you leave the windows open or you keep them closed. My argument being, well, of course, if you got the air conditioning on, you close the windows. But if you don't have air conditioning, if you close the windows, does that keep the heat from coming in? It depends. I mean, if you get a, a nice cross breeze, it's good to open the windows. Yes. Do you have a nice cross breeze? No. Okay, then I'd say close the window. Right, and keep the blinds closed too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you leave it live in total darkness. That's right. Yeah. You know, except when I'm on the air with you, and then I turn on the lights. And except when you're working at Lowe's, you're in total darkness there too. Yeah. Oh well. They treating you good. I gotta work. I gotta work tomorrow. Yeah. Do they give you since you're part time? Do they give you a medical at all? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. Yeah. Yeah. They. Um, I guess, uh, hear all that. Do you hear that noise? You no. Hear, you don't hear it. Oh. Okay. Because I can hear it in my earphones, so I think maybe the audience hears it. They are pointing the building. And they're working on the courtyard now. You know what pointing is? That's where they remove the cement and they put new cement in. Right, between the bricks. Every right. brick in this building. And this building is a huge building. How so, long have they been working on it? They've been working on it. They did the outside before they did the courtyard. And the outside got done in about, I would say, six months, something like that. You know? Uh, and 
they've been doing that day in and day out. Yeah, day in and day out. So they did the outside, and they're through with that now, I think, because I haven't seen them working on it at all. And, you know, we've got this big shelter that goes around the building, you know, in case they drop a brick or something, it doesn't hit somebody. Right. Right. And then they got the whole courtyard done with this whole thing. I mean, I wish I could show you. It's just, it's pathetic, you know. And this is going on uh, every day. That If people hear it, well, here, if I turn on my mic, let's see here. You hear that? Can you hear it? No, I can't hear anything. You, you can't hear it. Wow, that's amazing. But anyway, that's our um, that's our uh, uh, thing. So they're out there doing that, and when they're through, uh, I, I, they'll probably leave a mess behind that the landlords won't remove. You know. Oh, is that right? Oh yeah, yeah. We we don't have the we don't have the best landlords in the world. But then again, I'm saying the word. You get this, folks. Landlord, and I don't think there is your landlord a good landlord. No. See, nobody likes the landlord. Landlords are a special breed that wake up in the morning and say, how can I make my tenants more miserable? Right. You know, so. Anyway, so uh, so you're working at Lowe's. So right. This is the exciting thing that two old people talk about. That and what's bothering you physically. Right, right. What health issues you have. Well, you know what it is? I don't have the same ability to clear up technical problems, right? Like, right. like my other guys use a thing called Skype instead of Zoom okay. for their shows, okay? All right. And uh, I had Gabnet Live as my Skype, okay? All of a sudden, I go on to it one day, it won't let me in. So I asked for a new uh, password. Right. And I get a new password. And I use it once or twice. And then it says that password doesn't work. Right? So now I'm trying to figure out why that password doesn't work. So I go back in to get a new password. And they say, you've made too many attempts today. Try tomorrow. So I try tomorrow, which I meet, I imagine that at like 10 o'clock at night means tomorrow. Right. Or maybe the next day. I don't know what tomorrow is. Give me, give me an hour factor, 72 hours, 24 hours, whatever. Right. No, tomorrow. So I have tried every day for about three days on the tomorrow. And it says, been tried too many times, try again tomorrow. Don't you just love technology? And then I can't get into my account. I can't get into that account. I have one other account that I talk to some people on like Bubbles. And that one seems to, you know, seems to work. What uh, account do you talk to Bubbles on? Uh, it's just, an, it's, I have two Skype accounts. One for me, A. Bennett, okay. I won't say what it is so people won't call it. And the other is GabNet Live. Uh, right. And now you can't even get two of them anymore. You can't even get one of them, I don't think, anymore. I don't know. And then, you, here's the crazy part. See, this is what happens today. And forget about me and my technological problems here. But what's driving me crazy, okay, is that there's absolutely no way you can get a hold of Skype. Well, that's like you can't get a hold of Facebook. You can't get a hold of Facebook? I thought there no. was like a Facebook thing where you could write them, they don't you write you back, but really. Right, there's no way to get in touch with well, Facebook. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but like, I have a technical problem here, and I think it's a problem, I think it's a problem on their side. I think they're broken. Right. And they don't know it, but they're not gonna know it because they're not getting any mail from people saying they're having problems. Right, right. You know? What's with a company like this? This is Microsoft does Skype, okay? And I mean, you there's no way to write them a note or to chat with them or to uh, you know get 
get some kind of answer. Like, are you having problems? Maybe you're having problems. Same, same thing with Facebook. Same thing with Facebook. Yeah. My account got hacked, and I asked for a new password, and they, they sent me emails that didn't exist, and they said they would send it to these emails, and they, they weren't my emails, so I can't get back in. Oh, I don't know. Somebody changed my password. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, but here's the thing where I, I do the new password. Put the new password in. Right. Uh, I won't tell people what it is, but I put the new password in. And then I tried to sign in, and it signed in. Later on that evening, I went to another machine, tried to sign into it, and it wouldn't sign me in. And it wouldn't sign me in on the old machine, the one I'm on right now. And it wouldn't sign oh, me really? in on another machine I had. And I went, what happened? I changed the password. And it says, that's not the password. Yes, it is. So, but the problem here, folks, not that I can't get my password to work. Forget about that. That's, that's a technical issue. The answer to this question is, I can't get a hold of anybody to fix it, okay? Right. Or to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Right. I can't even write, you know, if I could write somebody and I could get an answer. The only thing I got an answer for is that they said, here, fill this out and we will see if it's your account. And if it is, we'll give you a way to change your password, which I'm sure they'll send me. And I'm sure I will change my password and I'm sure it won't work. Right. You know, it's just ridiculous. It's just absolutely absurd. You know, what are you, what are you going to do? You know, uh, and and it's the same way with a lot of businesses too. Um, insurance companies you can get a hold of. They're yes. they will they do have a number you can call. You'll wait forever, but you can call. Right. Okay. I have I have my site is on GoDaddy. I can call them. I can get some response on on that. Uh, but I mean, others, it is just impossible. And I have been suffering with this problem and I suffered with a problem getting my email for a week and, uh, that wasn't working and now I got it working. Oh, thank God. You know, right. You got my email yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so it's working, but it took me three days to get it working. You know, and I'm going, this is ridiculous. You know, at my age, I can't put up with too much of this. The strain, right. the strain's getting to me. I'm exhausted. It could kill me. You know, Only if you let it. Only if you let it. Well, they, yeah, only if you let it. Well, I, I just I just think it's ridiculous. But, yeah. Like, I just let Facebook go. You just let them go? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would have let them go a long time ago because I don't like them. They're a terrible company. Right. You know, uh, Google is, is slightly better. I do all my video and stuff through Google. Through oh, you do? For, through YouTube, yeah. And uh, uh, they never answer. I have If I have problems, I write them. They have a place where you can write. I never get an answer. But right. I can write them. Their attitude is, well, you know something? Let them write us, because that'll make them feel good. Right. But it doesn't mean we have to answer them. Right. So, you know, I mean, come on. I, I like the old, you know something? I really like the old analog days. Oh, yeah. You know, where if you had a problem with your bank account, you went down to your bank and you talked to somebody and they solved whatever problem you had. You didn't usually call the bank, you went to the bank. Right. So maybe it was a little more effort, but you know, it's good for you. It's good to get out and take a walk and go to the bank and socialize. And then they were really nice. And if you opened up a new account with them, you got a free toaster. Huh. Those days are long gone. What happened to the free toaster? I guess we made enough toast. You know, now now you go to a bank. Here's, here's the part I hate about a bank. I don't know about you. Do you bank? 
Uh, I have a credit union. You have, oh, you have a credit union. Oh, where'd you get a credit union? Through who? SAG after. Oh, really? You know, somebody told me I should put all my money in there. You know, that I'd just be better off. They're really good. Yeah. The, and you get interest on it? Yes. What kind of interest? Oh, very little. Okay. But I don't have a lot of money in there. I had $50,000 in my bank account. Okay. At one, really? At one point. It's diminished over the years. Now that I'm in my fixed income stage, right? You know, so so I uh, I uh, I had fifty thousand dollars in there, and I had signed up for this thing where you get a little higher interest on your account, and I looked at it fifty thousand dollars. My interest was I think three dollars, and when I did away with that on fifty thousand. My interest was, I think, 75 cents. Oh, yeah. Now, what happened to the days? I mean, I, I don't know when it disappeared, but you used to have money in savings, and it used to get about 5% per year. Right. Okay? What happened to that? The banks don't give a shit. Yeah. I mean... The banks don't care. All they want is money. Right. B of A is the worst. But, in you know, the reason I'd like to get paid something a little more than like half of a percent of a percent of a percent or whatever it is, is because I'm lending the bank money. That's right. I'm not, I'm not uh, taking it from them. I'm not borrowing it from them. I am giving it to them, and they invest it. And the longer they have my money, the more they can do with it. That's right. You know, so uh, I it really bothers me. It really bothers me. I don't know what to. I don't know what to do. You know, there's nothing you can do. I guess. What can you do? What can you do? There's nothing I can do. So you know, check out the SAG after Federal Credit Union. I mentioned that to my business manager, and he seemed to go, "Well, I don't know," you know. And I just, I somehow, I just think, that, you know, at least my money is going to be a lot safer there than it's going to be at Bank of America, who is always riddled with one controversy after another. Right, right. You know. uh, and don't they have a lot of fees, Bank of America? Uh, they do, they do. You know, if if you if you were to bounce a check, I I've, I haven't bounced a check in years. Okay. Gary, right. Gary makes sure of that, that I never bounce a check. But in the bouncing of the check area, I haven't bounced a check, but if you bounce a check, I think it's something like 25, 50 bucks, something like that. Oh yeah, easily. It's, 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 it's uh, the bank charges you 25 bucks, and then the, uh, the, the person who you bounce the check to, they, they get charged 25 bucks, so it's 50 bucks, or it used to be. This, suppose this is you, like, and that's if you even bounce a check on $10? Right. Wow. That's amazing. I don't get that. That makes no sense. I had bank, I was with Bank of America for like a week. Oh, okay. And I had this check coming in that was to cover my expenses. Mm -hmm. So I wrote checks against it, and then the check came in, and I went to Bank of America, and they said, we're going to bounce all your checks because the check came in later than the ones you wrote. So it cost me like 100 bucks in bounced checks, and that was my last dealings. With I ended up with Bank of America by mistake. Bank of America kept buying up the bank that I was with. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's what happened with me. Yeah. I, yeah, was, I yeah. was with, uh, I think it was Chemical. And then they uh, they changed to something else for a short time, and then all of a sudden they were bought up by Bank of America. Right. Which, you know, I've done business with before in the old days, you know, that and Wells Fargo out in California, you know. But, um, so I didn't mind it, but I mean, they, they do nothing for you. They do no. nothing for you. They just take and take and take and take and take. And I, I finally went into the bank one day and I said, Really? Only like 75 cents on $50,000? 
And they went, well, that's what we charge. I'm sorry about that. You can go, you can get one of these things that will give you more interest, you know, one of these interest-bearing accounts with, uh, I don't know, they whatever investment house they own now. Right. Um, and I said, no thanks, because last time I did that, it would have been $3 on $50,000. How much did you expect it to be? Five percent. I mean, that's what I used to get. Yeah, that's when. How many years ago is that? Um, I can put that under my mattress, lose a tooth, and the tooth fairy will pay me more. <laughs> how much does the tooth fairy pay these uh, days? Tooth fairy, the tooth fairy used to be, how much was the tooth fairy? Used, the tooth fairy used to be 25 cents, didn't the tooth fairy? That's right, a quarter. A quarter. I think, from what I understand from a friend who has a kid uh, the tooth fairy is now ten dollars a tooth ten dollars yeah that fucking tooth fairy wow yeah wow tooth fairy got rich yeah and I did you ever see the tooth fairy no okay fine I never did either all I know is I wake up in the morning and the tooth was gone and there was a quarter and there was a quarter yeah and then I go down to Bank of America and investment invested, and in a year I'd have thirty cents. You know, but that's not. To, oh, excuse me, twenty-seven and a half cents. Yeah, twenty-seven right. and a half cents. Uh, but no, no more, no more. But you know, I mean, it's 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 it it was just. I, you know, you're not as old as I am. You're no. well, you're 67 now, I think. 66. 66. I keep saying 67. Eventually, I'll be right. Eventually, okay. yeah, you will be. Yeah. When's your birthday? March. March. Okay, I'll remember in March that you've turned 67. But anyway. how old is Bubbles? How old is Bubbles? I think Bubbles is 67. I think. Yeah. Right. But anyway, so you're you're about uh, you're about, uh, about about sixteen years younger than I am. Right. But still, you lived in a simpler time. You grew up in a simpler time. Much simpler time. I mean, when you wanted to go to the movies as a kid, did your parents pack you up in the car and drive you down there and say, "Call us when you're through," uh, or they check when the thing would be over? We'll be waiting for you. Or did they say? Yeah. Did we say, "See you later"? Right, see you later. Yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, my movie theater was a mile away, and I'd go, I'm going to go to the Saturday matinee. Okay, be back by dinner. Right. Right, And I, I'd walk down there. No, but today, parents wouldn't think of letting their kid walk to the movie theater. Well, it's a more dangerous time. I don't know that it wasn't a more dangerous time then. We just didn't have the mass communications to make it look like it was the worst of times. That could be. It you could know? be right there. Because every time you turn on your TV, you said, oh, kid got kidnapped in Modesto. Blah, 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 blah. Right, right, and, right. You know, breaking news. Uh, kid, kid kidnapped in Modesto. Uh, so, I mean, uh, times have, what's changed is the media, which has overdone it for us. You know? Right, right, right. I think that's why there's so many mass shootings. They get a lot of publicity. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, uh, yeah, yeah. So You know, they're famous for a minute. Yeah, so why, I wonder if they didn't cover them if there'd be more mass shootings. Or the same amount. I don't know. I, I mean, they have to cover them. But do they have to mention who the shooter was? Well, do they, you know, my question is if they said, we're not going to mention those anymore. You know, it may happen. It may be terrible. Twenty, fifty people might get killed. We're not gonna, we're not gonna cover them. And if you don't cover them, will people do them, or do people do them because the media covers it? So their grievance will be heard. You know. I think part of it is because the media will cover it. Yeah, uh, but when we were kids, it was just a simpler time. And I, you know, I hate to sound like an old person. But Jesus, you know, there was, the, I mean, when you're a kid, there isn't a lot of complications, you know. Right. But I had no real complications. 
Yeah, I had a very, very good childhood growing up in Marin, and I didn't have a computer. We we didn't have a television set till I was eleven or twelve. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. We I listened. To, I grew up on radio. Oh, you did. Yeah, that's why. That's why I did those things like Supper with Schwartzman and stuff because the kind of thing I would listen to was that. Right. Hey, listen, I just looked at the old clock on the wall, and we've run out of time. Is that right? Yeah. Talk to you next time. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's who he be. That's Stephen Kravitz. Bye, Stephen. Bye, Alex. Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Do you think we can try that again? This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Oh, boy. <laughs> every, every, I can't have one night where things don't go wrong. And, uh, but uh, uh, sometimes I have things go like they're going tonight where there is nobody waiting to go on. And quite frankly, since I don't have a show going on after me tonight, I just might sign off right now. I'll give it like uh, two minutes for people to call. And if they don't, I'm out of here. I got other things to do. I, you know, I've got fires to put out. I, uh, I, I tell you, I, did, I had a shock tonight. My business manager sends me the latest bill from Verizon, which does this service, okay? Uh, you know, it takes care of my internet. And uh, so I, uh, I, you know, I have a pretty expensive plan, but I switched it a while back because they told me, well, you know, we're getting out of the old plan and we're getting into a new plan and we're getting into a new pair of plans, a suit with two pairs of plans, yeah. What, what, what is wrong with my lighting here? Is my, is my thing fringing here? Well, anyway. So anyway, uh, so um, I get a thing from my business manager. He says, what's this? And he got the latest bill for my, uh, for my uh, 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 Verizon internet and cable and it's uh let me see here let me see if i can get it straight all right it was 301 dollars now they told me it was going to be 265 if i changed over to this newer plan and i went over to it and you see they it was they said they were th the, the old plan that i was on was being done away with and they just had to bring me up to the new plan and would I sign up for the new plan and here's how much it was going to cost me it was going to cost $265 a month so I go okay what the hell it's less than I had before um, then they informed me that I wasn't getting HBO Max so I noticed that the phony phone they put on here you know these little phones they have you know what I'm talking about right just phones um, uh, that, that that was costing me $25 a month. So I said, it's costing me $25 a month. Cancel that. Give me the HBO Max, which I'm not getting on this new plan. So that brought me down somewhere again in the region of $265 a month. I mean, that's a lot to be paying for cable. But I got five cable boxes, and they're all char they're charging me for those. Those are $42 a month. It goes on and on and on. But anyway. That all things considered, I get a bill this month for three hundred and one dollars, and I'm going crazy about this because why is it three hundred and one dollars? What they told me it was going to be two six. So I get a hold of them. The only way you can get a hold of them this time of night is on a chat. And I said, "Well, how much is this supposed to be costing me a month?" And she went and looked at it, and she said two hundred and sixty-five dollars a month. And I went, oh, okay, so why this? Oh, well, that's an extra charge because you got rid of services. What? <laughs> I'm being charged because they're upgrading me to something else. That's what they did, okay? 
Um, Brian, I saw you there, and now you disappeared. You were the only person calling the program. Anyway, so uh, I, uh, I, they, I, I said, they said, no, they said $47 or something. I don't know, $42 that's a one-time uh, charge for changing plans and so on. Okay, and then she says, I have good news for you, all right? And I said, what, what's the good news? She says, you're getting unlimited cloud every month for $5 a month. And I said, well, I don't know if I want it. And she says, it's already in your plan. <laughs> when I don't even want the cloud, I've got... I've got you know my, all kinds of cloud things everywhere doing my stuff, right? Um, so um, I, it was it just it, it just really ridiculous. But anyway, I, I said okay, I'll take it if I'm if I'm being forced to take it, I'll take it. I'll spend the five bucks a month for unlimited cloud. My. God, how big is that? I'm going to put everything I've got on my computer on the cloud just to take up as much of their cloud as is humanly possible. You know. And if any of you have stuff you want to put up on my cloud, give me a call. We'll just somehow figure out a way to put it up there. But anyway, so where did Brian go? He was the only person calling, and now I don't have Brian sitting there. And I was just finishing what I was saying, and then I was going to go to you, Brian. But I guess uh, it's uh, not. Uh, we're not getting a call from Brian, and we're not getting a call from anybody else. I don't know what's happening out there. Maybe the West Coast disappeared or something. Uh, but there are a lot of people that always call me about this time of night that I can depend on, like Alan and and Brian, and uh, sometimes Kevin, and uh, you know. And oh well, here comes Alan. So let's just admit Alan now, just for the hell of it, so that we can get that out of the way. All right, okay, there we go. Hello, Alan, how are Hello, you? Hello, Alan. People tend to come in a little later well, on Well, this is, this is fucked, okay? This is fucked. I don't need this. I don't need any of this, you know? Um, I've heard that every 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 show that I get well, on. Well, I'm getting the I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking of changing the whole way of, of the stuff that I'm doing. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'll I'll figure that out as I go. Start start charging all of us twenty five dollars a year. Uh, char charging at twenty five dollars a year. Yeah. What I what it was amazing with this uh, Verizon is that she tells me I've got good news for you. You're gonna to get to pay five bucks more a month. <laughs> I mean, what? How's that good news? But I get, I get. It's a twenty dollar a year, a, a twenty dollar a month rather, uh, extra I'm getting where I can have unlimited cloud. Okay. Now I thought about it for a second, and I said, uh, "Is that a good thing or a bad thing?" And then I realized it's kind of a bad thing. Okay, here's how so. Let's say, okay, just for the hell of it, I decide I no longer want Verizon. Right. And I want to go just, you know, cut the cord or whatever. What do I lose if I have all my stuff on the cloud? All my stuff on the cloud. Yeah. Right? So you know, I mean, I've already got, I've already got, uh, uh, what do you, what do you call that, the uh, drop uh, box, okay? And I've got like two gigs of, uh, or two terabytes of space on there. So I'm, I'm doing that, okay? So good, you know. That's but I mean, probably better than a cloud with Verizon. But, but these, 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 these cable companies are just robber barons. <laughs> I have Comcast and I have a uh, uh, gigabyte speeds because they talked me into it. I'm paying seventy five dollars a month. I could do with a hundred megabytes of. of you speed. know something? I wish I were out there because I'm paying ninety nine for my gigabyte oh, wow. service. Well, but, so we're yeah okay. Well, I'm getting a little cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what kind of plan do you have, Ray? He has a silent plan, the one in which you can't hear him. 
Uh, uh, only visual, no audio. <laughs> you forgot to plug the mic in. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no sound, Ray. Yeah. Oh, you don't say. You're no. sending them. Yeah, now you can probably hear me, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. This is this was like an old thing people probably never had, but it was called silent cable. It was called silent internet. Where they we yeah. they didn't have sound yet, so you had to make faces at each other and so on. Anybody remember yeah. that? Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with my damn thing. Uh yeah, I have AT and T fiber. Well, that fiber isn't working too well tonight. You're you know No, it's because I moved everything on my desk and I don't know what's wrong. You're very choppy and not very clear, right? Probably got as far away as is humanly possible from My you. audio is? No, your video is like this. And you're no, not I know, I know, because I moved the desk and the light sucks, and I haven't figured out how to fix it. Yeah, how, he, 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 yeah, he has he has right. fiber, but it's uh, it's only uh, twenty mega megabytes a second. No, it's really fast. Really fast. Oh, sure it yeah. is. Um, yeah. But um, let me see here. Hi, Brian. What kind of service do you have? Xfinity. Xfinity. What is Xfinity? Which is what I have. It's Comcast, Xfinity, yeah. same thing. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. And yeah. and what is X? Does Xfinity do anything special? I don't know. I don't know. We got like one of the top plans, so they can play games. They play Valorant like all night and, mm -hmm. and those type of things. So well, I'm, I still up on I'm this paying thing. now. If the if the bill is correct <clears> next <throat> month, two hundred and sixty nine dollars a month. And yeah. I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm just thinking about, I don't know, unless just I put, unless I put everything up on that ultimate uh, 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 cloud, you know, that unlimited cloud. I want to see how much stuff I can put up there, just for the hell of it. I'm just gonna unload everything that's on my TV set, you know. Oh, well, like, everybody, like, cool, I, cool it. Here comes Phil. Oh yeah. my God, really? Yeah. I rushed online because Alex said that nobody's calling it now. Phil's on. Yeah. 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 Uh, hmm? uh, am I supposed to use Skype tonight to get through? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go back. Go I, to, uh, I got cut the, this down, restart your computer and go on Skype and we'll meet you there. I got the oh, okay. I got the Skype working last night. Finally. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> I finally got a thing back from Skype saying you finally qualified for us to give you new passwords. You know, nice. after giving them your name, a letter I wrote to email, I wrote to you what the subject matter was. I mean, it was insane what they wanted out of me. Yeah, I got poll with Skype. You got poll with <laughs> Skype? I see. Anyway. Gave my name, right? And with, uh, my, my, and with that, my... I told uh, I told everybody who's on GabNet, at least it's not going under the knife. You did that last night? Yeah, that we are doing away with uh, Skype. Uh, and uh, they're just going to use my account, you know. Right. Uh, and I had I have a separate account I just opened up with like you know forty minute limit, and I did that because if I say want to call uh, uh, Jack Show, Jack Show or Damien Show, I can't do it using my account because the minute I sign on with my account, it shuts them off. <laughs> you get get that, okay? Which is fine, uh, you know. Then only one Especially if Alan's on. If only, only one machine at a time can do it. So I have that second account so I can then call them. Yeah. You know. What do they want for a second paid account, Alex? Second paid account would be the same as a first paid account. It'd be a hundred and fifty five bucks. I think you can get and I don't understand what they mean by it, but you can get a second license. Mm. And I think that means you can have two people at a time using the same account but i don't huh. know now, I don't what, know what is a, i would call a, zoom and find out but what does a corporation do you know there's no that, way to call them what? alex what does a corporation do that has tons of employees they buy multiple have, licenses and no not necessarily they might have a license that's good for a certain amount of people and uh, you know i bet you rob alfano would know uh what the deal but, is on. no i don't think or so. zoom I, or I, I, I think they have to buy for zoom 
They Is have it, to buy. We have to. They have to buy many licenses for different people to be using that at the same That's time. Crazy. However, however, there are different plans. I've got a plan where up to a hundred people can call right now, and I'm and they're on, it's on my plan. If Never I want more problem. than that, there are ones where you can do a thousand. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh, and big companies would do a thousand because maybe they want to do like a, a webinar. I hate that term, a webinar. Uh, yeah, we do all hands like that. And then they have to break them up in a couple because I think they only do 500 at a time. And then if you don't get in soon, then you got to hit one the next How meeting. do you see them all on the, on the screen? Uh, so in the big ones, <clears throat> they don't allow any of that. All you see are the presenters. So you may see one big screen and three other people. And then when they present, they go to the big screen. Okay. They mute everybody. And then you can only ask questions through another account. But, so. you, but can't you uh, can't you have like all say four hundred people yeah. on there? But you yeah, gotta go. You gotta swipe through screens to get yeah. to them. But somebody yeah. who's talking may suddenly be. Uh, yeah, and there are people presenting. there are people on with their cameras. I've seen up to like two hundred on a couple of the calls, and now they change that where they don't. You can't see who's on at all. But before, yeah, you could. I'd see you swipe. You see everybody's name, or some people with pictures, some people with video. Well, I'll tell you, the amazingly creative people during COVID uh, were like there were some musicians from the uh, from the uh, uh, the New York Symphony, right? Mm. And they all got together, all like eighty or ninety of them at the same time, mm -hmm. and then played symphonic pieces. And there was a full symphony orchestra that was going out over uh, over Zoom. There were some very creative ways in which Zoom was being used, you know. So. Uh, but yeah. uh, on, on America's Got Talent, mm -hmm. sorry for that show, but America's Got Talent, I watched it a little bit. And there is a, two kids on there that met through the COVID. And this is the first time that they were in person together and performed. One yes, was a I pianist saw, and one was a singer. I saw that. Yeah. 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 I, so they yeah. met on the internet during COVID and it's the first time they performed together. I found a way you can get through America's Got Talent without having to watch the whole goddamn show. Same Go here. to YouTube. YouTube. Because oh. America's Got Talent posts the best acts or the acts yeah. they like right there. So you don't have to wade through bad ones or ones that uh, don't mean anything. You get to see all the good stuff and that's it, you know. I always record it then I just go back and just fast forward through all the sad stories and all this drama well, I, stuff. You know, I, I hate that though. Yeah, I hate yeah, that. I, it's worse than the Olympics. The, this year, yeah, the Olympics, yeah. <laughs> right yeah. back. Yeah. Here, here is a, ba a basketball player, Steph. Uh, uh, what's her name? Griner. What's her name? Oh uh, yeah, Griner. Yeah, Griner. yeah. Uh, she. I spent time in a Russian jail. Well, now <laughs> yeah, next a, Olympics. Yeah, yeah, the next Olympics. But so somebody posted that they should chain. Uh, they should uh, exchange to Russia uh, Alex Jones for her. I mean, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good oh, idea. Any comment, Phil? Uh, no. He just paid four million, and uh, well, he's not—he's just... not through paying. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, know. I know. There's still th that's you... only pu that's only punit that's only that's only actual damages. There's punitive right. damages coming up next tomorrow. And I think he's got yeah. about he supposedly has 160 million dollars. That's, that's he should have to get rid of all of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then be handed a gun. And well, if he doesn't give, rob a bank, him, he'll kill himself. For give him a case. Big Mac. He's doing it to himself now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, but anyway, uh, uh, you know, I just, I just these companies, the way they do business these days, you know, and then they're all touchy feeling about it. You know, like I was doing this chat with this person online at Verizon. He says, "Hope you're having a nice day. What can I do for you?" Well, I'd have a nicer day if you didn't send me a bill for three hundred and one dollars. <laughs> it was probably a bot. <laughs> yeah, I bet you you were talking to a bot. Probably wasn't even a real person. Oh no, it was a real person. She got me my whole bill, showed it to me, showed me what it would be next month, and then yeah. gave me the wonderful yeah, news. I've got great news for you. What? What do you have great news for me? Well, you've got unlimited uh, cloud, and and you're only going to pay five bucks a month for it. And yeah, went, don't wait a minute, was I paying the five? What? Don't we have unlimited cloud storage on Amazon through Prime? No. I've never used it. No, I but don't think I, so. 
No, no, it's uh, a limit. Yeah, it, you you can store unlimited photos uh, I, on the cloud. I, I would say time. I would say you're wrong. Okay. Uh, some, but it's not unlimited. Wait a minute. Amazon Cloud Storage. Yeah. Cloud Storage. I can okay. photos. It, oops. Storage. Okay. And push button. Here it comes up. Uh, cloud Storage. Uh, free cloud uh, storage in the cloud. Yeah. Uh, and you get uh, uh, 12 free months, but it's not... Uh, it's not... Uh, uh, what is it? Startups? Oh, this is AWS. No, you don't want AWS. No. I have AWS, believe it or not, because I use it for the uh, for the uh, website. Uh, let me see here. But I don't pay anything because I pay a certain amount of money. It's very cheap. I, I, I and uh, consequently. Uh, under a certain amount, they they don't charge you. It's free. But anyway, uh, oh, is Amazon Cloud free for Prime members? Prime and non-Prime member subscribers will receive five gigabytes of free cloud storage. Five gigs. Yeah. Well, you know how many gigs this show is when I record it, like I'm doing Six right gigs. now. Six gigs. No, <laughs> three point three gigs. So uh, you know, it's not a lot of storage space, but I, but I it was... you can. The space uh, can be used for files, including photos, documents, videos, it's Excel, etc. For Prime member, the subscription fee is twelve ninety nine a month, and the, and plus any applicable taxes. Uh, so it's but it didn't say how much you're getting, if you. <laughs> hmm. Well, anyway, it was called Amazon Maybe. Drive at one point, I think. So your uh, your five bucks for unlimited is not so bad. Oh no! I look, it's not terrible, but I know why they're giving it to me. Because once I got all my stuff up in the cloud, oh, I'm going to quit Verizon. I don't think so. You know, so I would still rather have something that I have control over. You know. Yeah. Plus, there is, is there is no cloud. I always, I I find that. <laughs> amazingly dumb you know uh i mean uh, don't you find that uh, you know well, where's the cloud i keep they, oh hey it's up out there the window it's up there in the air <laughs> and it's the it's the closest thing we have in uh the area of uh, the internet to god because it's in the cloud it's up there with god you know my oh. my 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 files are being watched very carefully by God. Sure. Yeah. Sure I'd are. like to find some sort of good alter uh, additional way of storing photos. You know, I, I've got, called, called the hard drive. I've, I've got a, a 72 terabytes of, uh, of storage in my Drobo. I don't use that much, but uh, Drobo just went bankrupt. And so, no, Jesus, no. <laughs> so that's hey, wait a minute. Look, there's Adrian. No, there's, so there's Adrian. Hi, Adrian. How you doing? Come on uh, over. Come on over. Come the on. The the <laughs> the heck with your father. Be on be daddy's on. chair. It's okay. Sit in the chair and be part of the citizen panel. Uh, she's asking permission. Is, is Jeff, my, the cat. my photos are on the Drobo. Yeah. But uh, if can... something happens to it, I don't know what yeah. the. You know yeah. whether I can retrieve them. What's up, Adrian? No, you got to turn that. You got to turn the uh, the microphone on and talk to us. Is, is it, oh, she's she she she. she I bet she, I can bet do she it. knows exactly Muted. where to go. I bet she can do it. Oops, I better Oops, go she now. She just downloaded uh, yeah. the newest virus, Brian. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, she, she just got her father uh, uh, thrown out of another uh, oh, thing TikTok. like TikTok. Yeah. Anyway. You ever notice that those reels and TikToks and things, when you when they're you're watching them do a hack, they uh, and they say, "Oh yeah, watch this. This is the best hack you can do." And mm -hmm. then when they get to the thing that's actually the hack, no, it, it it stops. It's the end of the thing, and you don't see the result. Have you ever noticed that? I, I have no yes. idea what you're talking about. Oh, Jeff does when when on these reels. Uh, you know, I'll watch and I'll say, oh, if you do this, this hack, 
you know, put a sock over a can and wet it and do this. And then it gets to the end of the reel and you don't get the punchline. They, they, they got to advertise to you. Free advertisement. Is that mm-hmm. like TikTok, you mean? Yeah. Uh, what are yeah, you TikTok about? never finishes stuff. The guy's, no, they don't the guy's skiing down the hill with, with uh, uh, and it, 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 it's a long drop, and before he gets to the bottom, it restarts again. Done. Yeah. yeah. There's no end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, you know, it, it's the middle. It's I want to see the punchline. <laughs> you know? The uh, punchline. Yeah, I know there's no punchline on these things. But anyway, How can they get away with that? Because they own the oh, they yeah. own the company. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so talking about the January sixth hearing thing, a friend of mine said, "Do you well, believe?" Who was talking about the January sixth hearing <laughs> uh, thing? That's uh, he, uh, changing the topic. No, that's the way. Yeah, that's the way he changes the topic. He doesn't want to know that I talked to Jack today. But go ahead. Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I, this is just funny. This Republican and, friend of mine Alan? says kangaroo court. Yeah, kangaroo he, oh. court. Will somebody decide who's going to talk? Yeah, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Alan. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Since I was told I could talk. No, you weren't told you could talk. You just started talking. <laughs> Since it's a kangaroo court. And I said, isn't it funny that the only people that are being interviewed in this kangaroo court happen to be Republicans? What do you mean? I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh, the, the January 6th hearings. They're only they're only interviewing Republicans. Well, uh, you're, you're kind of right, yeah. yeah. Why wouldn't it? It, would be a, it wouldn't be a kangaroo court if it was the, uh, fair. No, no, but what he's saying is that the people who are testifying and telling their side of the story and whatever are all mostly Republicans. Yeah, because yep. there were no Democrats sitting with uh, Trump during the, uh, well, the, right. the issue. Right. Insurrection. Right. right. Uh, Did you yeah. say you got an erection? Insurrection. <laughs> Something that you can't get anymore. So yeah, well, I'm old. Next time you what, get cancer. What's Ray doing? It looks like he's redecorating. <laughs> it looks like he's doing <laughs> mime or something. Put my wallpaper up. That, that, he's fixing that, up his... I, yeah, I have no idea what, what the... Sorry, problem. sorry, I sorry. Know. He's doing the... Freeze. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. but you're kind okay. of like every other frame. You yeah. know, Ray said last... I'm every other frame? Yeah. You're chop, you're uh, spotty, but... Uh, my Ray video last... or my audio? Uh, video. Both. Oh. Video. Your audio's mm-hmm. fine. How weird. Oh, now the audio's okay. Uh, Ray was talking, uh, said to me last night that uh, he went to China in 1992 mm-hmm. and wasn't followed by any handlers or, or, or anything right. like that. Right. Uh, remember we but talked about that. It's got to do with the night. January 6th thing, talking about changing you the You know, stuff. I don't know if we would be today. I mean, uh, I, I, I can't say because I'm not over there. Uh, what I did like about China, I love the people. I just love the people, and I love the country. The country's a they make, they amazingly make beautiful too. country, you know. And I saw some of the most beautiful, scenes, uh, 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 you know. Uh, uh, well, What's when the I went I'm there looking? in 1992, uh, the people were a pain in the ass, and um, it they. It was not fun. What year were you uh, there? 1992. Yeah, yeah. That's still back in the days where Beijing was nothing but dirt roads. Yeah. They, well, they had yeah. a McDonald's that I got really a Pizza Hut I got ill really ill at. Um, they had two different currencies. Everyone tried to rip you off all the time. Um, it, yeah. the highest. By the time I got place. there, you yeah, know, well, Beijing was. There this... weren't any restaurants other than Chinese restaurants where they had like monkeys in cages outside and stuff. I uh, know. No. When I went when there, I was there, when I was there, which was maybe about eighteen years later, yeah, all that had changed. Oh, I'm sure. All yeah. that had changed. I mean, I enjoyed I'm, it. I'm sure I in the cage. It was becoming a very sophisticated country. But no, you, when I was there, it was you, not sophisticated. You get out into the country. Way. You get out into the country like I did to Guilin, for instance, as an example. And That's go down where I the, stayed for a week in Guilin. Did you go down the Li River? Yes. Isn't that in, the in most a fishing amazing? boat in a fishing boat with a bicycle that broke when we had to ride it back and yeah. I had one pedal. Was that not one of the most beautiful pieces of scenery you've ever visited in your totally life? Totally beautiful. Yeah. Except I was like this the whole time because the roof was like this fishing well, boat. Well we took a, we took this boat. They had 
There, they were so many boats stuff. going down this river, touring down this river. They were like you could you could see down the river and you to the horizon. There were all these boats following each other. These yeah, long boats. Yeah, they had those. Serve lunch and do the whole thing. And man, I'm telling you, uh, 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 it was it was just gorgeous. It, it lived up to everything I thought it would live up to. And if everybody, anybody wants to see it, go on YouTube and look up my China uh, thing. And we have the whole thing with the Lee River. You'll just be amazed by what you see. Oh, I've seen that video. Yeah, yeah. that's where I was there. And I stayed in, we stayed in Yangsha, which was this little village that Jimmy Carter stayed in when he visited. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the hotel, I remember, was two bucks a night. Well, the 101 <laughs> bill yeah. has on one side a picture of Mao, of course, as all bills do in China. And the other mm -hmm. side is a bunch of these cask of mountains. And it, it was yeah. literally the Li River that yeah. they have on the back of the $100 uh, won. Yeah. Or 100 won bill. It's not $100. Worth about 20 bucks. Yeah. I'm supposed they to go these, there. They have these mountains Look. that are like spikes and they yeah, yeah. go for thousands of miles. They call them casks. Yeah. And they're amazing. What were you saying, uh, Brian? Besides Ray's volume is way loud. Um, Ray, sorry. <laughs> Jeez, I can't get anything right. Um, sorry. I'm supposed, I'm supposed to go. To go. I'm, supposed I'm supposed to go. To go. Oh. Two, huh? What? What? Somebody, somebody's not there. Oh, somebody, somebody. somebody. Somebody, somebody. What is that? Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just turn you guys off for a moment and see if it happens now. No, now I got rid of it. Okay. Um, gonna, I was supposed to, to go to China. Yeah. Supposed to go to China in about three months. Really? Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to it? Better than India. <laughs> yes. Uh, he, the problem with China now is that it probably is not the country I remember that it was. Okay, it's probably not that beautiful. I mean, it's just that beautiful, but the, it's just probably a little rougher. You may be followed. You may be suspe suspect because you're an American. Okay, you know. So I think things have changed, although you're a businessman who's doing business with the Chinese, right? You're opening up a plant yeah, there or with, something? Yeah, with the government, yes. Yeah. Do, does the government get a uh, ownership percentage then in the company? I, I understood that they'd have to own fifty one percent. Is that no, 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 not own, but we have to do. We have to have. Yeah, the, the, there's a formula. To... There's a formula. Hold on. There's a formula we have to use that we're using of Chinese business. Oh, do you have to <laughs> give them your technology as well? No, no, they already stole our technology. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's funny. They, there's there's a there's something that's like our cartridge. Our cartridge is very unique, and there's actually there's one over there. They reversed engineered it, huh? Yeah, yeah. a long time ago. Well, but here, no, here we, we here's the thing. So Phil business. makes out like that's a bad deal, but when I was in Spain for the first time, and this was when Franco was still there, uh, and this I was a long time ago. If you yeah. wanted to open a company in Spain, it had to have 50% ownership by a Spanish, uh, uh, by Spanish money. Mm -hmm. uh, and 50%, um, uh, so they would take companies like Fiat, if you want to build Fiat there, you had to have Fiat of Spain, but it was called Siat. Fiat. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it was called Siat. And uh, there were a lot of other companies that were like, you know, Levi's of Spain or whatever and they any of those companies 50% ownership had to be <clears throat> Spanish money Yeah, uh, we just have to have we have to have a certain percentage of our stuff coming from there like uh, material wise right so so I mean the fact that they're doing that to, to his company in China isn't terrible it was a practice that was done by many many countries to protect their economy I didn't think it was a good practice anyway. Yeah, we don't do that to other companies that come and maybe to, we should. to do business in the United well, States. Uh, yeah, but the, most of the time they open up an American version of it so they can sell stock in it. So, uh, you know, we don't have to make that request. But yes, uh, Alan. 
My brother in law traveled. Oh, too loud. Uh, too loud. Uh, uh, now your mic oh. is too loud. Damn it. Hold on. Yeah. No, hey. we'll wait. No, we'll wait. Just we got things off. to do. Is mine okay now? Is it's... mine better? Yeah, yes. yours is fine. Now you, you spread it to everybody. Everybody, ma yeah. masturbate this if you've better? got them. Okay. <laughs> is this better? Yes, that's better. Yes. yes. All right. So, so um, wow. my brother in law travels to China on business about four times a year. And now, when he gets off the plane, before they'll let him through customs, he has to turn on all his electronics and, and shut off or disable the VPNs. Okay. Virtual private networks. Yeah. Because they don't and want to. And he turn it back on afterwards? I, I, I don't know. I, I, How do they it, know that when you get to the hotel, you don't turn your VPN back on? I, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. But they're they're looking. They know that people can bring in news from foreign countries using a VPN, and I don't know. Oh, I see. They don't want people. They don't want people in China getting outside information. That's right. Yeah. That's the idea I'm, behind it. I'm, because when I'm I was fine. in China. There were certain mm -hmm. things I could not access Facebook. Facebook in yeah. China, right? Yeah, right. and that was you know ten years ago. He can't, he can't either. He, yeah. he yeah. can't get on Facebook and social media while in China. I wonder if he can get. I wonder if they time. get YouTube over there because I think I have seen that we do have some listeners in China. Wow, well, you know, very no. few, but nevertheless, listeners in China. Funny thing, you mentioned VPN. I was going to call Alan today and ask him a favor. Uh, I'm trying to buy a new monitor, uh, and it's made in Japan, and the, everybody in the United States do, it doesn't have this monitor. It's on back order. And so I went to ISO Japan trying to see if it was available for purchase, and I couldn't get in. So I was going to ask Alan to use his VPN say that he's in Tokyo and go to the ISO website e i z o and and look up this monitor this. We, we, we can do it after after the show yeah but yeah, then but, and then say you you say you're in Tokyo and you're trying to buy it and then you want to buy it and have it sent to you in the United States uh, yeah. the jigs up yeah. when you do that well, so yeah but i could see if it's available it's not available uh, anywhere in the states well, why so do you want you this because you can't get it anywhere in the United States? No, uh, I, I've wanted an ISO monitor for a while. Mine's, you know, eight, nine years old. It's, how old is this? I, how, how much is this monitor? 2500 bucks. Yikes. Oh, it's made by Montgomery Yikes. Ward. Yikes. <laughs> if you it's want to really win, ISO... throw your money down the toilet, get one of the new Apple monitors. No, this is much better. So this, this, is, is, this is what professional photographers use. So one of the one of the things VPNs is nice for, if you're going to travel on airfare in the United States, if you're looking at a ticket to say to go from here to Chicago and back, where my family's originally from, eight hundred dollars round trip. If I take the VPN and put it in El Paso, Texas, it's it's three hundred and fifty dollars round trip. And, and I use my address and everything, but you're buying it from El Paso, and people don't have the money they have in the Bay Area. Well, don't you get caught? Don't they? Don't they, isn't the airlines onto that trick? I, I haven't traveled in a well, while. Well, uh, what you can do, uh, uh, for instance, uh, there were shows on Netflix in Europe that aren't on here. Right. Okay. So if you wanted to watch a certain show, you could use your VPN to sign on to Netflix, use your Netflix account because you could say you were traveling. And because uh, the uh, signal is technically coming from England or London or whatever, you could then watch the show. So there's things on YouTube videos that say, we've taken this off because of uh, privacy rights. So I take, it, I take my VPN and I go out of country to Denmark or something like that where they have no privacy act and and go right on and, and watch the video yeah. yeah you have to make sure you get the right VPN like some of them uh, the VPN companies have to actively figure out which IPs yeah, I use I use and Nord and ORD let, VPN. Let, 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 I use that too uh, but, good stuff well I don't use it that much I, just, I find it annoying. I find it annoying because it slows Whoa. down my throughput. Yeah. Uh, you know. A little bit? No, not a little bit, a lot. 
mine, mine, a lot. well, mine, mine cuts about a third out of my speed. Well, so. you know, uh, so I mean, it, but but that, it, there is a speed problem there. For people who don't know, let, let's ask Tony here. Tony, what's a VPN? You know, I know Shaggy has it. I. I don't ex exactly know what, what it is exactly. It's meant it's to Google. keep you out of his uh, his loop. Is that what it's meant for? Oh. Well, I just said it's, it's the ten. You, you should know this, Tony. It's a very a pretty one. nun. Very pretty nun. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. Alex? Is it something that looks like that goes like a USB piece that goes into the computer? I might have seen it. No, somebody okay. try to explain VPN to Tony. Therefore, by <laughs> describing it to Tony. You'll be describing it also to every member of our audience that oh, doesn't really know what it is. Virtual private network. Oh, the, the okay. one that knows. But I'm not going to ask you to tell us what it is because you don't know, Phil. I used to have NordVPN. It expired, and I didn't yeah, renew but it. But you don't know what it slow. does exactly. Yes. So we have we have Global Protect VPN. So every time I'm on this computer, my laptop from work, I have to sign on this because we have a lot of stuff that's. Uh, what is it encrypted? Like almost. So, gamer, uh, all the properties, you know. Is, is that why you're coming to it? Um, okay. Let, Uzbekistan. Let Let Alan explain VPN to. Yeah. Oh, people so, who don't know what we're talking so about. VPN, He'll just claim it's a Trump conspiracy. <laughs> no, well, you never know. Are you done cutting me off, Phil? No, no. Uh, just keep. I'll keep it up. V VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and so when you're at home and you log on to your computer with AT and T, Verizon, Comcast, Xfinity, or whatever, somebody on the other end where you where you go to some other website knows almost exactly where you're at there's an ip address internet protocol address mm -hmm. that's yeah. the thing in the in the in the address bar that you type uh you know verizon.com in there there's a number behind that and so they can track you down so what vpns are used for is for um to, to, to stop people from tracking where you're well, located. Well, it obscures that IP it address. It obscures that, but it also, it, a lot of VPNs, including Nord, has some, some uh, it encrypts what you're sending, and probably that's why Brian's company uses it. VPNs were used by the government and companies before they started becoming yes. readily available to us, us consumers. Because, you know, you don't, you want, you don't want to be transmitting private company information over a hotel website that somebody else can be spying on you and the VPN stops the spying pretty much. Yeah. You understand, yeah. Tony? Yeah. And what yeah. it does, it well, also makes you be able to uh, associate your IP address with places in foreign countries. How did know. that uh, guy who's, who scams the scammers, how does he get past the VPNs of the scammers? To be able to get on, they may their... not have VPN. They may really? not. Really? Yeah. You would think that they would. You know. So it, it creates a it creates oh. a virtual Tony. A virtual yeah, Tony. virtual Tony. A virtual, Tony. virtual tunnel. Can so I ask you a question? So instead of Tony, instead of your, if you're going to comicbook.com or whatever, yeah. Instead of going directly there, it takes you to London and then comes back so to comic book and comicbook.com or whatever you're going And anybody to. who tries to find out where you are, will f it'll come up that you're in England. Absolutely. Can I ask you a question then? Yeah. When you said when you go to a hotel, Alex, you know what I do at the hotel when I went to the Baltimore Comic Con? I didn't pay for the uh, internet service in the room. I used my iPhone as a hotspot. Would, can they still trip? Is that, I figure that's safer, using my phone as a hotspot and then just connect to my phone to surf. It, it, is sa it is safer than using the hotel. That's what I was doing. When I travel, that's what I usually do in the hotel. But, you know, when you're traveling, you should you should get a VPN for your yeah, iPhone. You know, if you get a chance, send me information on it now. Yeah, I, just, I don't totally understand the workings of VPN. I just know that when I go to my VPN and I say, okay, I want to get a signal in uh, Sweden. We Sweet. We recently, we, we had we had really good protection in this country against people spying on us, Tony. Mm -hmm. And uh, where we were going, you know, it hides where you're going, and criminals use it too. But it, you can go different places on the internet. You can download porn. You can do whatever the heck you want. Yeah. Uh, but it, it hides. You can also where you're download actually... movies and TV shows yeah, and things you like know, that. You know, if you're on Amazon. And then, then we had. Let me finish, please, Phil. And then what we had is we had a president who's no longer president, a one-term president, that screwed up 
um, the internet by wait, making give, the, give wait, up wait, the ghost let, already. Let, wait a minute, let him finish. But it's true, Phil. He, he you know, what? I he, I was. He did I, what? I had Hold to on a second. In. Hold on a second. He did what? And Trump Trump reversed the the net neutrality as well. Oh it's called. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and the net neutrality stopped your internet company from following you around and knowing where you're at. And Trump d told the FCC, get rid of it. Take care of it. Yeah. yeah. yeah I well, net neutrality. What, I, what I wanted to say was about a VPN is mm -hmm. let's say you go on Amazon. You know that you couldn't sign into Amazon if you were on a VPN. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, by the way, everybody out there, it's VPN, not BPM, like Phil says. Virtual, pri it's correct. Virtual private network. I meant N. Well, that's I just mistyped it. Hearing. I mistyped it. This is why Alex has me explain it, not you. Yeah. No, he wants to get you off of Trump. So, do you have a little bit of an idea, Tony, of what it is? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's kind it of would, like it's it, kind of like an encryption where they can't really eavesdrop. It, well, it, it, yeah. It, it also direction. doesn't make that's it. Part of it. It's not. It's not able to tap in. To your IP address. That's I right. Like, I like that idea, not because. Yeah. And your IP you know. address is like your own physical address. I have an IP address here. Okay. Absolutely. One six eight usually starts with what? Not one nine two, I think. Some, yeah, something them. like that. Yeah. A long number. And then, I remember I had a static IP address, and then there's ones that uh, they they show up differently, uh, and for my network. I needed to have one that was consistent. Uh, I think most IP addresses. IP I, I think most IP addresses now are static, aren't they? Yeah. I'm not sure, but this was years ago when when I first set up the network. Or had the network set up at the store, uh, okay. and I needed to have a, a static IP instead of uh, one that was very, I guess, variable. I, I don't know what they called it. So, Tony, you know that people in China, based on our conversation, and you probably know this before the conversation, people in China can't go on the internet and get, get Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> so the, the Chinese governor puts constraints on the internet system within China. So what a VPN will allow you to do, and they don't allow their citizens to have VPNs, but what a VPN will allow you to do is, then, is take is take and show that you're in England, yeah. and then you can then you can do everything you want. Oh, say that England. you're in the United States, and then get on Facebook. Yeah, they so can see one, of the, news, one yeah. of the things that's really unique. But about you know, it was really strange when I was in China. I couldn't um, get onto Facebook. I saying? couldn't. I th don't know if I could get onto YouTube or not. I couldn't. I, I don't right. think I could get onto Google. But I could get onto porn sites. <laughs> Which Mark was, was so amazing. The man got to see his dirty movies. Don't let him see Ye the news. Years ago, oh, Alex, no. right. yeah. uh, Marjorie was calling in. I was either from Hong Kong or from China uh, uh, using. Yeah. Uh, oh, it was Hong Kong. So that's why she was able to use her uh, thing through Facebook. And I and, think she could. I, I think someone, if they're in China right now, uh, for the various ways we have this program going out, they can probably, if they can get YouTube, they can see the program. If they know the address of the program on, say, Zoom, uh, they probably could uh, could call, well. call the show. Yeah, you know. Um, but if they, you know, I guess they don't. They don't want people to have VPN. So, I was talking so to Marjorie. I was talking to Marjorie about this tonight, and I think the Chinese government is really stupid. And they're stupid in that they honestly believe that if they keep everybody tied down and they keep their ability to have uh, uh, access to outside information, that it's going to protect them. And I think it's just going to make people mad. And I think it's just going to cause worse situations that if they were more open, like Deng Xiaoping, when he suddenly said hey we're gonna go we're gonna do we're gonna do capitalism and we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and the country freed up things blossomed New, Ch Beijing was rebuilt you know I don't know if when you went there Ray if Deng Xiaoping was the premier at the time but you know I think he yeah what? I think he was yeah. I think he was and yeah after Deng uh, uh, Deng uh, it, it was it was wonderful, 
And and then they got this new guy in, Chi, and he's an old hardliner. He believes he wants to be the next Mao. Mm -hmm. Okay? And they just they don't want anybody to threaten their power. And they've got it they're living in a time where they probably should learn that she, they should let people do what they want to do because that's how the economy thrives. And that the best way that they're going to keep a strong hand on the country is by doing stuff, you know? Doing stuff. The American way. Yeah. They I mean, they, they, they can control them easier. I, I, said, I, I said to the woman that was t driving us around, I said, uh, uh, are you a communist? Do you belong to the Communist Party? And she says, no, I don't. And I said, well, you know, you can't vote if you're not a member of the Communist Party. That's the way you get to vote. You just simply join the Communist Party and you get to vote. She said, nah, I, I just let them play their game as long as they leave us alone. Okay? Well, that's the key phrase here, as long as they leave us alone. If but they're they, not. If they stop leaving people alone, things are going to get a little rotten in that country. I, I want to know, you know, people have been to Beijing. Beijing. What happened to Peking? Beijing. They, they wiped the whole city. No, Be but where's Peking? Peking duck. Peking. Yeah, where, where's Peking? Pe well, uh, hey, you know, yeah. Alex, it was it was Deng Xiaoping when I was there, mm -hmm. and um, I'll tell you, he was encouraging capitalism like I'd never seen. Everybody was selling something. That was part of the problem. Everybody. Everybody. But, you couldn't you couldn't get away from people trying to sell you something exchange, exchange currency it was constant no yeah. matter where you were on the great wall of china in the middle of yeah. the mountains we we hiked up to this one of those pointy mountains and there was a yeah. ex monk up there selling soda pop <laughs> <laughs> and he had an album of pictures of all the people that had sent him the photos when they visited him yeah, yeah, yeah. In, <clears throat> in Vietnam, they have like a big shopping area, and they actually had pictures of people that were dressed up, look like a monk with their head shaved and everything. And it said in there, these are fake monks. So if you see these guys coming, so they, <laughs> you know what's yeah, interesting? It and, and bizarre. So what does it, it say? Oh, fake monks. <laughs> what's very interesting is there was a country that we were in a dire war with. I mean, it was amazing the war when did it end i can't remember what year it ended in uh, which war vietnam, vietnam yeah 72? vietnam 75 well, it was 74 75 yeah but then we were there until like 78 but with, we with went Oprah. in there and they were killing us and we were killing them and it was horrible and you know mm -hmm. and all of a sudden uh, the uh, ho chi Minh got to take over the country uh which he was actually a good guy he wasn't a bad guy and uh, now Look what the result is. Brian has a lovely family, and his wife is Vietnamese. And does she remember the war at all? No, no, no. She was born 1984. See, see. I mean, you know, I had a friend. I, uh, I saw Ho Chi Minh. I saw Ho Chi Minh. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and it, they it, have him in the mausoleum in the in the clear. Oh, I saw Mao. Thing. I saw Mao. Oh. The stuff oh, really? Mao. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you go by, it's a little, little creepy. You know? Yeah, there's a huge yeah. line to go in, and this girl in front of us was on her cell phone, and the soldiers almost like yanked her because she oh. kept talking on the cell phone. Oh, Everyone no. was like, you got to be respectful, you know? And she kept yip, 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 yip. And the, but the you go, you go grabbed. in, and you go past it, and there he yeah. is. He's like, it's like you're mm -hmm. looking at a, a wax dummy. It could have been Madame yeah. Tussauds. Uh, and uh, I understand at least with uh, what they did with uh, 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 um, um, uh, well, in uh, in uh, in uh, Russia uh, in the Soviet Union at the time when they had uh, the uh, Lenin's tomb. Mm. Uh, Lenin was, was lying there, looking much the same way. And you know how they kept him crisp every wow. night when the people left. Refrigerator. No. The the tomb literally would go down underground, and he would spend the night underground, uh, like he was buried. And then in the morning, they press a button, and the thing would come back I, up. I heard and it, I think I heard they did the kept, same thing with Mao as well. I heard I heard it kept it at a lower temperature, like a refrigerator. Yeah, but Mao's there, and I saw him. He's you know, he's he's definitely dead. 
There's no question about it. Yeah. Very quiet. You know, talking about Vietnam, I have a friend that went there last month, and he showed me pictures. I, I tell you, the place is clean. Uh, it, it's uh, it's inexpensive, and it, it, it was beautiful. I, you know, they, they have they have like where where uh, Tiffany's from. Uh, they have a nice river that goes through the city. And all paved with these nice statues, and they have signs there. If you see anybody soliciting around, what is to uh, call this number, and the police will come and get them. Well, the roadways. He had pictures of the roadways. The trucks uh, go in, in in one area, and then the cars and bicycles, I guess, go in the other area. And it was so organized. Uh, yeah, but they're they're getting too many cars there, I think, because the scooters is is very very fun. And now there, there's so many cars that are starting to get there, starting to get traffic. Where before you saw, you see all the videos of all the flow. And I love riding scooters there; it's so fun. It's, yeah. it's yeah, it's a blast. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, you take a place like that, and we're we're a total peace with that country. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it was a, it was a country. By the way, North Vietnam, you know, had a constitution, and it was based on our constitution. Oh. That's how much Ho, well, Ho Chi Minh studied in this country. Absolutely. You know, uh, he loved America, but he didn't love what America was doing to him at the time. And that's why we took a friend and turned him into an enemy. That's not good, you know? So, whatever. Well, you know, so. it's, and uh, then to see all the, you know, when every time I'd go into driving through the countryside and stuff, and you see those areas. And I know there's much worse. You know, those seventeen-year-old American kids are sitting in, you know, in these jungles, you know, where they've never been out before, and the humidity and everything, trying to fight. It's uh, really sad. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, we we managed to turn people into enemies that we really shouldn't. And it, I'm when that war was over, the country improved, and eventually. Uh, Brian met his wife, and they had this lovely child that comes in to the program every now and then. Speaking of that, she has to say goodbye, or I get in trouble every night. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> you got to say goodbye. In Vietnam, they have a beer. Uh, I hate beer, but this beer is really good. It has a, it's a number. It's like thirty nine or uh, or something. Are you familiar with it? Heineken. No, it's a, a, it's a Vietnamese beer. Vietnamese always eat, drink Heineken. No, yeah. there's a few of them. Phil always has to French. prove how much he knows about culture. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I like the beer. I, I would buy it again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> look at that. Go to BevMo or around the corner. You can uh, probably yeah, buy it there. This one. Hey, look at that. The show is almost over. And uh, mm -hmm. look who dropped by to say hello. What is she doing to your face? She's about ready to poke another What eye. is that thing? It's a doll she got from somewhere. I don't know. Burger King. Burger King. Burger King? King? They're giving King. those away at Burger King? Yeah. <laughs> On the outside of the package, it that does look like, Doesn't look. that look like a sexist? It looks like a, a woman housekeeper. Doesn't it look... <laughs> no, that sexist. wasn't sexist. It's on. It's, it's called 33, and one bottle here is 12 bucks. <laughs> That's a lot of one bottle. Yeah. He's still talking about beer. He's We're watching the doll, you know. I, I'm listening to your Alex Bennett shows, and you had the two kids on there, Coleman and yes. Emily. Coleman and Remember Emily. Yep. Yeah, I'm listening to those right now. Yeah. Those kids were wonderful. They were wonderful. Yeah, they're pretty funny. They're they're but they got, nothing over, uh, 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 they got nothing over Adrian. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah, it'd be funny because some, some caller called and said, this is great because I can actually listen to the show in the morning with my kids since you have the kids on. I yeah. mean, <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, I, 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 won't, I won't say how pretty she's getting now, but she yeah. gets prettier. But I mean, she's grown up on this show. But she, yeah. but she Adrian, it, inside, inside beautiful or outside beautiful, which is most important? See, see, that's what the, yeah, you're yeah. good, good daddy. Everything anyway, I teach you. Hey, I'm listen, right. let's say good night to Alan. Let's say good night to Jeff. Let's say good night to Brian and Adrian. Mm. Let's say goodbye to Ray. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Phil. And thank you, Tony. Uh, all of you give a big wave goodbye. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a big wave goodbye back. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. 
That's our citizen panel right there. Hey, go away now. Uh, Jack isn't on next, and the reason he's not on next is because, uh, well, Jack is uh, recuperating from the operation that he had yesterday on his spine, and uh, he, uh, he is on the mend, but it'll be a while, so just hang in there, because we miss him, and I'm sure you do too. Anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett, and uh, we'll be back in tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.